Shalom. Today we're going to look at a Bible code about the Apostle Paul. So here is the access term in the red. Going down. Paul the Apostle. And the other name that is used in scripture for him is Shaul. And it's in the blue here. And Shaul is also in this blue here. And this one is crossing over the word alias, which means another name. So that's his other name is Shal. So in this light teal, in sharing the noon, that's the word alias or nickname. Now Hebrew is here. Paul was a Hebrew of Hebrews, he tells us. And it's crossing over the access term. Roman is here three times uh, in the red with the black lettering. And Paul was a Roman citizen, and he lived in the Roman world. There's Roman here, crossing over the shawl, Shaul. And Roman is here, sharing the mem. And he was tried in Roman a uh, Roman court. Here in this green is the word Talmudic. Now before, we're going to look at these words that applied before he met Yeshua. He believed in the Talmud. He was um, a Pharisee trained under Gamaliel. So he believed in the Talmud, which is the oral law, not the written Mosaic law. Here in this light brown is the word seminary. So we know that today is a place that you go to learn Bible, you know, to go into the ministry. So that's the equivalent of what he would have gone to, uh, to learn about the Talmud and about the Torah. And it's right at the bottom of Sha'ul, perpendicular to it. Torah, we have in this brown over here, a vertical skip of two, sharing the R resh with another word, Torah, and then crossing over his name, right, cutting right through the center, is in the Torah, Bet Torah. All right, so he was an expert in the Torah here. And just to remind you that every time you see a vertical skip of one like this, all through it, these are all the exact same skip, letter skip as the access term. And the skip in this table is 833. So that's how many letters are in between each one of these letters that are going vertical, which I think is significant. So Bima. That's what this word is, and that's what the platform in, in a synagogue is called, where the Torah is read from. And then we have feasts three times in this table. Feast, I should say. Moad in the teal. Here it's in the plain text, Moad. And here... Right inside the word Talmudic is Moad. This particular one is uh, right in the plain text in Leviticus 23, where it talks about the feasts, where Yahuwah says they are my feasts. Um, this whole table is found within Leviticus 13, verse 27 to chapter 24, verse 4. And then in the orange over here we have Shabbat and Shaul, where Paul kept the Sabbath. We have patriarchs here. So he followed the patriarchs and their faith. And before he met Yeshua, he would persecute Christians. And he would go around looking for uh, Christians to put in jail 
into stone like he did with uh, Stephen, the first murder. So in this green, that is killing or slaying. Now we're going to talk about Paul meeting Yeshua and the changes that were made. So the day that he was on the road to Damascus, he saw a great light. And here is Ma'ur in the, the white with the purple lettering. And that means um, from the light or in the light. So there was an illumination. He saw a bright light. And another word to do with light is here. Ari. That means luminous. So he saw a light. He fell down. And he met Yeshua. Yeshua is here in the purple. Crossing the top letter, the, the pay in the Paul. Yeshua. And his Paul's life changed drastically. Um, we have the word, the way. He became a member of the way, Haderek. And it's just right over the top of the access term. He also took a Nazarite vow as a believer. Nazarite is here in the gold, going up here sharing the yod in another word and that's a resh so paul became an apostle to the gentiles so gentiles is here in this mauve with the black lettering crossing over the access term so that's goyim one place where he preached was Mars Hill in uh, Athens, Greece, I believe it was. And starting it in this burgundy here, going up, that's Mars right there. He also was caught up to the third heaven. And here is heaven, Shemayim, in the yellow. He preached for the kingdom of Yahuwah, and kingdom is in this purple. Um, sharing the calf, and that's a hay, Malachi. And interlacing with that is the word revolution, here in this light purple, or fuchsia. So a revolution makes me think of a couple of verses out of the book of Acts. Acts 17, verse 6, it says, These who have turned the world upside down. And that's talking about the believers. And Acts 24, verse 5 says, about Paul, it says, We have found this man to be a troublemaker, stirring up riots among the Jews all over the world. He is a ringleader of the Nazarene sect. So, this new faith turned the world upside down. It was a revolution. When Paul first became a believer, Ananias was the one who went to pray for him for his eyes to be open. And Yahuwah told Ananias that I will show Paul all that he will suffer for, for me. And so sure enough, Paul did a lot of suffering along the way. Uh, some examples of that are flogging. In this orange, that's the word flogging or beating. And it's also uh, here, this way, imprisonment is here in this teal. He was imprisoned different times. Another word for imprisonment is over here. Uh, starting with the mem, going up. And this is interesting because this is a semek here. It makes a yes sound. And Silas is sharing that semek with imprisonment. And Paul and Silas were imprisoned together on one occasion. Guard, watch, or jail. All those words are it meant with this one, 
Memshomar. Beating and striking is right beside it, starting with this hay. Ka, alef hay, that means beating or striking. Now, about his writings, he wrote so much of the New Testament, and it was all given to him from Yahuwah, here, yod hey vav hey. Again, that's the same skip as the access term. And we have the word prophetic, starting here in this blue, crossing over the access term. And we don't think of it often, but Paul was prophetic. He wrote about the end times, the word petition is here in this mauve with the white lettering. Many times in his writings he will write out pr his prayers and his petitions. And he talks about creation. Here is the word creation. Same skip as the access term. One, one of the particular scriptures is where he says all of creation groans waiting for the uh, or the manifestation of the sons of Yahuwah. Then the last word is angelic. It is Malachi here in the pink. And so that is the table about Paul the Apostle. Thank you for taking the time to listen. Shalom.